Be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. Do the same with the Grizzly Gentleman, 10% off at checkout on your fantastic beard products. Or you could shop via the TCG Player affiliate link in the description down below to help support the show. And last, but of course not least, you can go to Grey Viking Games with the uh, affiliate link below to pillage some sweet arena codes. What is up, Planeswalkers? Theric 6, back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. We're playing some demons. And uh, hopefully we're going to have some fun. Now, this is a list I put together uh, relatively uh, early in uh, Call Time's life cycle. And uh, I apparently didn't, didn't remember that I hadn't played it yet. So uh, we're playing it now. This is a Liliana's contract deck. Essentially, the idea is we're going to try to get demons with four more names on the uh, on the battlefield at once with this out, and we win the game on our upkeep. Not terribly often. It's, it's, it's not going to happen that often. Uh, so what I did was uh, I built a red-black kind of demon mid-range shell around it because now with call time, we, we have enough, like, just decent demons to play. So we're going to play some decent demons. Uh, we're going to play some best of three as well. Um, because I, I think it'll be fun. I, I don't know. Theoretically, it's better to do something like this in best of one. Uh, because it's linear. Sort of. Um, typically when you're building a, a deck with a combo finisher. Which which Lilina's Contract is a combo finisher. You're going to want to play that in uh, as, as linear as possible. Of a uh, situation. Right, uh, your opponents will have will, will be less likely to have uh, removal for uh, your deck specifically. So I like this card because I can turn one of my lands into not lands. This hand's better though. We do have to drop a lock coin most likely, I think. Um, and we'll just play this first. No. I can actually just play this first. Um, but I, I, this deck is a mid-range deck with a combo finisher, so it should be fine. It, I'm not trying to all-in on the combo, um, because I don't really have to. Uh, opponent did that. I'm just going to play Dream Devourer here. Uh, what's really fun about this deck is the fact that Varagoff allows us to just grab Contract, which is really fun. Now, I have seen people play a Changeling version of uh, this deck, but I played Changelings recently, so I, d I didn't want to do that again here. Get my Dream Devourer. Unfortunate. So our opponent is playing Grixis Control, looks like. Gonna go and just play the Varagoff. Now, we do have 25 lands, because our um, average CMC is relatively high, it's possible that we should just be playing 24, though. Yeah, what's really nice about Varagoth is we can just attack and boast. But it looks like my Varagoth is... Oh, fine. Just lever of our cards are put on top. Garbo. Uh, attack. And to grab Contract. So my opponent will know about Contract. But what's nice about Contract, right is in these mid-range situations this also just draws us cards right five mana for four cards is actually not a terrible rate uh we do have to pay for a life for it but i don't care um so when we're playing this kind of mid-range strategy my opponent only has one blue wow it's an interesting thoughtsies i don't see why they wouldn't save it Want to cast this or attack first? I think I want to cast this first. Cool. We take those and we attack. But yeah, see, we we have refilled, right? Now we have a better board and a decent hand against our opponent. Um, not a lot of gas necessarily, but we do have a good old-fashioned thoughtsies. That's unfortunate. Thoughtseize, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Allows me to play all of these. Yeah, I think I'm going to play all of them. This is potentially an issue. Okay. Um, Ugin's a definite issue. But, 
legit, this is what I was talking about. I constantly go up against other Grixis decks that are do doing decently. Yikes. Um... They currently don't have enough to uh, flip bolus, I think. I'm just going to play this first. I'm going to activate this now. I can have three mana. I am going to activate this now. So they get Liliana. And if they have a land and they play land, attack me. Warrior minus four. Queen Necromancer has a nice ring to it. Yeah, okay, come back from that. Okay, let's see. We love Thought Distortion. Um, I think I'm fine with Angar's Rampage. I don't think it's worth it to bring in a Feed the Swarm just for Eldest Reborn. Um, We're going to be pretty unlikely to win via the contract. So if I want to cut that down a little. Dream Devourer just isn't great in this matchup. He's never going to stick around to do things. The idea with him essentially is like uh, you can Dream Devourer and then... Um, uh, foretell the contract and then you can play like a two drop and the contact uh the contract on a uh, turn four or something like turn five whatever i don't yeah turn five it's a pretty bad hand i just had nothing It's a mad keep, but I'm not sure I can win this match without greed. Okay, they they double mulliganed, which helps my double Thoughtseize hand a lot. Also, they only have small championship, but I have big one. What do you got? Yoink. Then I guess I take Valky here. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Valky. Especially since they have double made my tome. Next turn I can play Devour and start for selling these, so it's a little easier to cast them. Not by much, but well, it is technically easier. They probably should have scribed an upkeep there. Alright, so they'll probably take contract here. Alright, that's fine. I maybe this No, I, I this they're not gonna be able to kill this. I I know their cards, like I get to just foretell this. I'm, I'm just gonna foretell this. Hit them. Yeah. Now next turn I can draw. I can draw cards. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you, you take a calculated risk with some of your, uh, some of your opening hands, and uh, sometimes they can pay off. I mean, obviously we don't know how the game is going. I assume that has to be a land, right? Okay, they liked what it was, but not enough, I guess. Yeah, I just want to draw the four here. Sure. 
Makes sense why they kept it on top then. I guess I should have realized that. I'm just it when I when I play Grixis, I, I don't think counter spells as much. Alright, this has to be a land, right? Sure. Takes my embodiment. Because I can cast embodiment. If you take Shepherd, I could just cast the embodiment. Okay. Sure. Okay, five five turns here. Oh never mind, it's gonna be more than that because of the Mage Mind Tomes. And they really just didn't want to draw with that. Good for me. No, nope, this card. Don't remember. This is a card that they scribed with. They just play it home. I don't think I saw any board wipes from them. No. I'm just going to cast Faragoth. Makes it my Dream Devourer is like not as great, but like Dream Devourer did what it was meant to do. It allowed us to cast a contract. It got countered, but we still were able to cast it. <clears throat> okay, so the scribe to the bottom. So these cards must be Garbo. Got that on top. My assumption is like land into Bolus? Really? That is interesting. Um, okay. Does this, like, mean that this just is a counterspell or something? So, I mean, I could just get a contract. Like, the thing is, they're not playing Liliana or... Ugin, especially, anytime soon. I think I think I just grabbed the contract. Like there's an argument to be made for getting like Nightmare Shepherd to protect against some board wipes. Cardor just to like kill them faster? I'm just get my contract off. They actually don't know what I search for. I didn't expect Gante at all. Did not expect Gante at all. I also don't think they should be running pathways in this deck. I don't understand that attack either. Well, I can see really quickly if uh, they took my... They take my contract. Yes, they did. Okay, so they, they did take my contract. Okay. 
So here I have the, I have the choice of getting Burning Rune Demon. Or Thought Distortion. scry here. If they keep it on top, it's a land. If they put it on bottom, they probably scry it keep. I am bleeding now. They put it on bottom. Apparently I had a scab that I didn't realize I had. I, I, I okay, no idea where that came from. Put that on bottom. Looking for a land. foretell this instead of casting it here so that I can get in for some some damage and so my opponent can't uh, make me discard it wow they go to four here I am I was about to say I'm dead but they decided not to attack I hit. Ugh, looks like One you're thing. on your own now. Okay, well I can play Burning Room Demon next turn. Rampage won't help me here. I can get the devil and embodiment of agonies. Yeah, I think that's what I have to get. Embodiment and the devil. I'll get one of these. One, two, three, six. My opponent. So my opponent can't flip bolas here. I don't know if they should have, right? My power is boundless. Oh, yeah, no, Liliana got exiled, dude. I wonder if they, I wonder if they realized that. Their embodiment will only be a two-two. They can kill one of my creatures, but they still die. I, I, I wonder if their plan was to get Liliana there. That may be like big punt territory. Yeah, that that might be pig punt territory. I think I think they thought they had Liliana, and they didn't realize that uh, Thought Erasure exiles or Thought Distortion. Sorry. So I know they have Hostage Taker. So I guess maybe this deck is more mid range. Okay. Oops. This wouldn't have been able to come in as something else, I don't think. Okay. So we did get a little bit more information. Uh, 
going second here. I still think Thought Distortion is worth having in the in the in the deck right now. Sand's actually fine. If we need to get rid of a land, we can. We have a way to get rid of an early uh, thing, Bob. We're going to play Mountain on turn one. You might get thought seized. And it's pretty reasonable for your opponent not to thought seize you on turn one, uh, if they don't, if, if, especially if like they're going first or something. Is my tome? Um, pretty sure I just abrade that. Well, actually, um, hmm. Do I want to play a, a raider first? Yeah, I think I want to give them something to deal with. Do I'm gonna raider here? and discard the other raider, I think. Yeah. Cool. I, I will absolutely take this. They get eight, they get two scries, essentially. So your opponent does here on three. Doomfall. Okay. There's Bedeviler Burning Rune, I think. I mean, I guess you could take the Abrade. I can just Rampage. That's, that's why I think that it's not Abrade or Rampage, yeah. I do think that makes the most sense, although I'm quite far away from it. Cool. Do I hold up the devil? I don't think I do. I think I just abrade. I think I could describe, but. Doomfall. Haven't seen that in ages. Used to play that in Bolas long, long ago. Get on top. For what it's worth, if they um, if they play a bolus here, I don't know what I would discard. Hmm. Okay. They don't have any blue mana. That is important to note. I can essentially develop this for free. Um, they, I mean, they might have removal for it. I, sure, okay, it's fine. Oh no! It's fine. I could have attacked first. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I could have just, like, attacked first. Here, I'm definitely going to attack first. They still don't have blue mana. I assume they have a bolus in hand. They might even have a... Uh... Disdainful Stroke. I, I do not like the pathways in, uh... In Grixis. Um, I can afford this. Although, I'm probably just gonna... Cool. Now, if uh, my stuff dies, I get my stuff back. Kind of. They're smaller, but still. Took forever. We didn't win with the combo, but we still won. 
And uh, that's a win in my book. That did take forever, but I do want to play with the deck a little bit more. So uh, I'm going to play a game in best of one. See how that goes. Historic ranked demons. They don't have the ash anymore. They took ash out of magic. Makes me very sad. You're a bull. Back and forth, the struggle consumes us all. Trying to keep a level head. Grab the bull by the horns, the old adage goes, but no. Wait, but they, they, nobody, right, no. Isn't it nobody ever? No, it, it's like, I don't know the first part was, tells you where to go from there. Uh, taps. And we're cruising, schmoozing and moving. I mean, Nylea plus Garrick. I assume this is a creature deck of some sort. Not confirmed nor denied, but uh, definitely push likely in my favor of this being a creature deck. Cool. Well, that's a real easy troll to kill. Can't protect itself. Uh, this is like a guaranteed can kill. Uh, next turn I can play like a Bedevil on something if I have to. Otherwise, I'd probably just play a Vera Golf. See the champion. So it's, it's big. It's big green. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to kill this. Uh, there's an argument to be made to try and save a Bedevil for the uh, tree, the Great Henge. That's almost certainly in their deck. Um, but if they just can't cast the Great Henge, I don't care. Another Steely Champion. Into Adventure on the Love Struck Beast. Um, just can't block. to 16, 15, 10. Yikers. This is probably the best way for me to get removal, though. And another land for Burning Tree. Ow. Yeah, it, it's these matchups where you really don't want the contract. Like, if this were best of three, I would side these out completely. Essentially, so I just, I'll show you what I would do. I'd bring in the Showstopper, I'd bring in the Rampage, uh, the Feed the Swarms, Abrades. And for this one, not Crippling Fear. Um, they're not like a tribal deck, and they have pretty big dudes. They didn't play anything. I didn't expect that, to be honest. I think I'm just going to play Burn Road Demon here. I'm going to get Bedevil... I need a demo of lifelink. The devil definitely one of them. I guess Blood Chief's there's the other one. Yeah. It's it's removal. It costs more. So they're probably going to give me that. Next one will be on seven mana. Collected company. I'm dead. Fabled Passage? What? No, not Fabled Passage, but I am still uh, super dead. I got greened. What can I say? I got greened. Yeah, I think, for what's worth, I think I made the right decision for, um, for, uh, best of three. I think, I think a deck like this does want best of three. Especially since, like, you want, y y the deck needs, like, more removal against those types of, uh, uh, decks. So you definitely are going to want to side in, like, more things, so. I don't even know if a braid is good enough. I don't know, uh, I don't know if you need a braid this meta anymore. The braids maybe should even well. You need like one additional bedevil. 
talk about the deck talk. I'm talking about it now. Okay, so Blood Chief's Thirst, pretty standard in uh, black decks that I play with. Uh, I just like the Thirst, it's scales, it's very nice. Thoughtseize, we're playing black, we're also playing a combo deck, um, so being able to just get rid of uh, some interaction or even uh, threats that are going to mow us down really quickly is quite nice. Dream Devourer, as you saw, the, the main goal for Dream Devourer is to be able to just put things in uh, to the Fortel Zone to stop them from being discarded and make it so that I can cast them uh, easier on a later turn, be it because I am running low on mana or because I'll be able to double spell and maybe I can bait out a counter spell. Uh, Emerson Raider, you play it and you fix your hand. And because this is a May ability, you can just cast it as a Garbo 2-1. Notable, I, I should I should note, every creature in this deck is a demon. Might have been Varagoth. This card is awesome because it has Death Touch. Right? If this didn't have Death Touch, attacking with it would feel bad when your opponent has creatures. But since it has Death Touch, you can attack with it knowing that it'll die, but knowing that it'll take something with it, unless it has like indestructibility or something, but still, like that's totally fine. So you can attack with it essentially with impunity. Because you're no, because you, you know you're gonna get um, uh, some sort of decent ish trade. You don't get to tutor the card into your hands. That would be absolutely ridiculous. So you're not getting true card advantage uh, if you do this. But you are getting a very, very strong card selection. So you saw there. I mean, being able to just grab the contract if I needed more card draw, grab uh, some removal that I had. Although for what it's worth, I probably. This deck could be better, I'm sure. I just, I'm not, I'm not good enough to know. Um, love, love Varagoth. Very cool. Uh, Embodiment Agonies. It's a big flying dude that can hit really hard. Uh, I mean, if you notice, like, these are the same. These are two, those two are different. All of these and three are different. Um, these two are the same, but this is different. And this is, like, one of the main reasons we're running this instead of three of these. Um, I wanted to run some different things for the Agonies, even though we're only running two. Uh, these are the same, sure, and this is its own thing. But, you know, Embodiment of Agonies is not hard to get it up to that 4-4 four, four level, which at 4-4, four, four, that's totally fine. Like, that's sufficient. Um, once you get it to 5-5, five, five, and, like, we had one at 7-7, seven, seven, I think, uh, that's where you really start to get the, some, some PS, the resistance. Bedevil is just good removal in his colors. Uh, Nightmare Shepherd allows us to, like, rebuy some things, which is dope. Uh, Embodiment of Agonies actually gets stronger because it comes back as a 1-1 one, one instead of a 0-1, which is pretty cool. Um... Obviously, like, we get to reuse our Emerson Raider ability. We get to reuse our Burning uh, Burning Room Demon ability. Uh, having more action with Carter is cr uh, is quite nice. So uh, even though our creatures get smaller, just having access to those creatures is still going to be very helpful. Uh, Spawn of Mayhem. It's a demon that can come down early if you have specifically Emerson Raider. Uh, you're, you play Dream Dream Devourer. Unless some weird shenanigans happen, uh, you're not going to be able to deal damage with your, uh, your Devourer. Uh, and put this into play on turn three from it. But you can off of this, which can be quite nice. You don't really care too much about your life total being drained. Uh, you know, uh, greatness at any cost and all that. Cardor, you get to hit things. And when, when things die, if it's attacking, you get to drain your opponent. Uh, this card is very helpful uh, against other aggressive decks. Because this isn't just when your creatures attack, it's or uh, die while attacking. It's when any attacking creature dies. Uh, and since that's a nice drain... You can really get in some situations where your opponent um, either is going to do combat math and just not attack, which bolsters your life total, or does poor combat math, attacks, and then you end up not dying. They lose a lot of your uh, a lot of their board because we do have things you know with death touch and whatnot. Uh, and it's it's great. It's great. Doom Whisperer. It helps. It's a it's a five mana flamethrower. You also serve out. Cool. Contract. I mean, you all know what contract does. We have we got the, we got demons. We win with demons. Uh, It'll happen from time to time, but it's not happening in this video. Deal with it. Because I do need to reiterate, like, this is not a combo deck. This is a demon midrange deck. That happens to also have a combo in it. <laughs> and then Burning Rune Demon. We only have two of these because it costs six mana. What the? He's in the background? Excuse me? There's a skull. Big skull. With, like, big snake next to... Hor utterly horrifying. Ugh, I... I am distracted by the, the terrifying visage of whatever back there. Uh, but yeah, it's five, it's six mana, six, six. You, you tutor a card. It's horrifying. Mana base is pretty, pretty simple, cut and dry. Um, it's possible that we could have used the boop doop that we could have used. Where are you? Canyon Slough. Uh, since it has cycling, 
Uh, I didn't want to have any too many tap lands. We could have also used this. Again, didn't want to have too many tap lands. Uh, I, I wanted the, the mana base to be a little smoother. Uh, what's, Temple, also, could have been used. Didn't want tap lands. Uh, then our sideboard, we have two Feed the Swarm. I always fear um, enchantment decks when I'm playing black. So now, now that I have a tool, I just constantly try to use it. Two of Braids, uh, you know... I think the reason I chose this is mostly just because of the versatility. Um, it's possible that it should just be something else, some other removal. Uh, Angrath the Rampage has vers <coughs> versatility, but it is a sacrifice, so your opponent gets to choose. Crippling Fear. A lot of Elves decks running around right now. Elves decks scared the crap out of me. So I have Crippling Fear. <laughs> Land of the Void. Uh, against Graveyard decks, it's still, you know, it's not the best, but it's what we have. And uh, two Thought Distortions, screw you, Control Decks, how dare you. And one Rakdos, the Showstopper, because if I didn't include Rakdos in this deck, in the 75, I would be a bad person. So it's in the 75. I like the deck. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I like the deck. I, it's fun. I'll probably play more on stream. Oh, before I go... Can someone please? What is this? What, what is this? What is this? No, fudge. What is this sleeve? How do I get the sleeve? Because I want it really badly. No, not demons. Where are you at? This this sleeve. This sleeve in here. I don't I don't know what this sleeve is, and I can't I can't click it to look at it. I want the sleeve. It looks so cool. And I really want it. And I, I, I tried, I did a quick Google search and I couldn't find it. If you know what it is, please tell me. I want this leaf. Anyway, feel free to send me nonsense uh, via my PO box. Uh, I would like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Fogwin, Malik, and Balatera for the continued support. If you'd like to join them in supporting the show, you'll find links in the description below. Do, of course, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff really helps out the show. And of course, until next time, all will be one.